if I'm going to derive this, it is a product rule. So the derivative of x is 1, and then live 6 to the negative 2x, plus leave the x. And then this is a little different. The derivative of this, since that is base 6, what you do is you just derive you put the ln a, start off with the ln of 6, times the derivative. Basically, it's going to be this to that power. So it's 6 to the negative 2x. And then you derive negative 2x, which is negative 2. Again, you take the power, ln the base. Sorry, look at the base, ln the base, leave the whole thing, and then derive the exponent. And you're done. Now, to simplify this, it looks like I would have that one's gone, so 6 to the negative 2x plus, um, it looks like we have negative 2x ln 6 times 6 to the negative 2x. Now, can we put a 6 to the negative 2x GCF out? We could. Now, also realize ln 6 is a number. A lot of people think it's not. Ln 6 is actually a number. So you've just got to consider that when you're solving problems. Um, plus negative. That's kind of it. Okay. So it's going to look something like this. 6, negative 2x. Pull that out. 1 minus 2x ln 6 is what I would probably see it as. Probably that would be my simplified form. Okay, number 46. If I'm going to derive this, the first thing you want to do is expand it. First thing you want to do is expand it. Once it's expanded, you derive each piece one by one. Now, because, do you understand this is base 10? When you derive these, the derivative formula is you just derive the top, which is, the, sorry, derive this, which is 2x. Is u prime over u, basically? Just like ln, it's u prime over u, but you have to put an ln 10 somewhere. Where are you going to put the ln 10? On the bottom. So you're going to have an ln 10 stuck in there. And I'm going to erase that and write it back here because I completely squished it. Make sure you multiply by the whole thing. ln 10 by the whole bottom. Minus the derivative of x is 1 and then x, and then the base is 10, so it's still ln 10x. So again, to derive a log, you basically treat it like a ln, except the base of the log, you need to put on the bottom as an ln of that value. If I were to simplify this down, y prime would probably be 1 over ln 10 times um, 2x squared minus x squared minus 1 over x times x squared minus 1. I got a common denominator. I multiplied this one by x over x and this one by x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 1. And so my final answer would be 1 over ln 10. And that looks like it's going to be x squared plus 1 over x times x squared minus 1. And again, the reason we tend to like to put it like this with the derivatives is a lot of times you want to put the top and bottom equal to 0. So if you're saying you're trying to find extrema, the top would be nothing because you can never equal that to zero.
it was negative. The bottom would be 1 and positive 1. It would be 0, positive, negative 1. And then this is a constant. You don't have to set it equal to 0. So, anyways, this would be your final answer. Questions?